I have dreams where it, black history is not just black history, it's history. He may only be 12 years old, but TJ is on a mission. He wants to have black history taught not just one month a year, but as part of the school curriculum in Northern Ireland. I think it would really break down a stigma and the idea that so, that uh, black people have not made great things throughout history. And even those who are black, I'm sure they would like to know the great things that their people have done. So we were talking this morning about the Last year, Wales became the first part of the UK to introduce black history lessons, and the North West Migrants Forum visited the school to see how it works in practice. It is difficult for me to describe how proud I am for the Welsh government and the Welsh people because you won't buy in from society for such a, a, an issue that could be polarised. It is a great learning experience for us and I can't wait for us to get back to Northern Ireland and really start putting everything we've learned today into action. The pupils in Wales feel it's an important part of their learning. If we just learn about white people's history, it is, is not fair for the black people because if, if we don't know, then we don't know about the black history, what, what have happened to them. They did an important part in history and I feel like we should celebrate every culture no matter what we look like. So we've been learning about Windrush and um, the olden days, how it used to be, like how did people come to this country. It was close to my heart because only once in my school life was I taught black history. Tomorrow, TJ will be the opening speaker at the North West Migrants Forum's annual Black History Summit in Londonderry. Will Esler, UTV Live. In contrast, we learnt a lot of Irish and British history. As the son of proud black parents, I feel there are many stories about black figures that we never